you know, isn't a hero's uh, watcher, so I, I've been unable, unable to watch it at night. Besides all that, aren't you supposed to be working on a script? How do you have so much time to watch? Yeah, where is the script you're supposed to be writing? I sent some of it in already. Four I haven't pages. seen it. Four pages. I want to read it. Well, I can't imagine it takes time to write the shittiest screenplay ever. <laughs> yeah, how long? Oh, should you it... should know about that already. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to write mine. Yours, I'm sure, will be done very, very quickly. What's yours about? <laughs> Eric is going to be writing a movie that I am going to take a look at and see if we can't produce for Howard oh, TV. I see. Uh, Eric is a uh, young and up-and-coming writer, George. He's already yes, written a children's I, book. I, I understand that there's a literary background there. I wouldn't be surprised if Eric offered you a part in this film. Oh, really? I wouldn't be surprised. Eric, are you thinking of George for anything in the movie? There could be something in there that I could put in. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'm sure he's honored. Well, you haven't put anything in yet. <laughs> yeah, you you got to get to work. Stop watching Heroes and get to work. <laughs> hey, Artie. How'd you like that Heroes episode? It was real good. Can't wait to see what's coming up next. Nobody oh, cares. The writers are fantastic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Listen, Eric, get to work. Uh, I, I don't know. Where, who did I meant nobody cares about what he thinks, not Heroes. Right. <laughs> what... what um, what? Uh, where are these four pages? Who did you send them to? I sent them to Will, and it should be six pages. Uh, Will, where are my pages? They're coming, Howard. No, no. I mean, when was he going to give them to me? Well, just forward them to me. He said he didn't know you wanted them. Of course I do. All right, they're, they're on their way. I'm thinking of going into production. Eric could be going in all the wrong direction. Yeah, I need to give this kid feedback. Uh, they tell me his writing style is a cross between Edward Albee and an earthworm. <laughs> uh, there is the script. I hold it in my hands right now. Wow. Wow. Eric's Angels. I told you I don't want this script. No wonder so Will didn't what? give it to me. I don't want Eric's Angels. I want you in it. I want you to play I James am... Bond. No, it's an impossible part for no, me to I play. No, I don't want you to do voiceover in your movie. I want you on camera. You read it. I'm not doing voiceover. There is a video phone. You see me on cam. No, uh, the Charlie never oh. appears on cam. And not only that, what, you're just going to be sitting on a video phone. That's ridiculous. That's what makes this one different. No, I want you in bed with chicks. I want you to be the main star. I'm not producing this. Look, jackass, that's all you're getting. <laughs> well, fuck you. I don't have to I don't have to reproduce this. I told you, if I don't like it, I'm not doing it. I don't like this. No, I'm not even going to bother reading this. This offends me. Can I read it? Here, you read it. I won't read it. Okay. Wow. It already sucks. <laughs> you didn't even start reading you it. Just started, you just started the first page. You just looked at the page, first page. You're saying the first page sucks? It actually has a smell coming from it. Wow. Did you jizz on this? <laughs> no, I did not, fat ass. It came out of their printer. How could I have done that? There's no... First of all... What is it, what, uh, come there to There's the no... There's, there's no lines. It's just all parentheticals. Like, you're just... Uh, I mean, there's nobody talking? Yeah, it just says, Eric, the setting is an L.A. office with apartment rooms attached where we find three beautiful female private eyes that work for a man named Eric O'Neill. Boy, you've really taken artistic license so far with the Charlie's Angels twist. Yeah. Yeah, there could be some copyright infringement. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, yeah. Let's have something original. But go ahead, yeah. Intro, voiceover while action and close-up shots of each of the three women take place. I'm Eric O'Neill, a very rich and secretive man. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you don't tell people that. You show them by your office being a power office. They get you don't go, girls, I'm a very powerful and secretive man. But listen, he doesn't change the Charlie's Angels right. idea at all. Right. I hired these three women straight out of the LA police academy after they didn't make it as officers. Oh, please. Eric, how is that original? We'll be sued. Yeah, I mean already there's a lawsuit. And how's this writing when you're just ripping off a script? I needed three women to help me run my PI business. See, I can't do the work myself because of my disability. I'm the voice and the boss behind the business. 
I'd so far, it's a real snoozer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you could really take advantage of your disability as a uh, innocuous witness uh, to uh, various events. Uh, you take that idea and use your imagination. Well, but imagination, he ripped off Charlie's. Yeah, I know that's all exactly. He's done. There's nothing. Uh, Eric, how do you answer? There. How do you answer these charges? <laughs> I don't know, fat. Hey, fat ass. Yeah. Read your read your part. What what am I what am I? Am I fat ass? What am I? Down towards the shower scene. Oh, oh my shower God. scene. Ew, I'm not in the shower scene, am I? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> look, look at look, listen to Eric's first line as go the, ahead. as the Charlie guy. All right, go ahead. Let me hear it. Good morning, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> You sure you can do that, Eric? Yeah, this is plagiarism. It's so fresh, original, imaginative. Eric, let me hear you do your first line. Good morning, angels. <laughs> <laughs> what? Artie, anything else good in those six pages? Well, now, where, so where's, where's the shower line? scene? <laughs> what page the is the shower scene? All it says, and all it, all it says, is chase scene, and then I guess we just imagine a chase scene, and we don't know who's chasing who. <laughs> Wait a minute, John Stamos. Well, what's the name of my character, shithead? <laughs> John Stamos. No, you play John Stamos. You're Marty the Peeper. Marty the Peeper. You are uh, a peeping tom, peeping in on the girls as they're taking a shower. <laughs> is he beating off while he's watching them? I don't know what he. Well, if you don't you know. You wrote it. That's some uh, creative. Uh, that's good. You know, jerking off. Uh, that's something. All right. Well, uh, Eric, I'm not impressed with this. I don't feel there's enough of you. I don't feel there's enough action. Uh, you know, I I, I, I don't understand. I, also, it sounds like a lot of plagiarism. Your first line is "Hello, angels." <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. It says, and then it says in parentheses, it goes, "The person in charge is John Stamos. Of course, he'll play himself." Oh, jeez. <laughs> the person in charge of what? John Stamos. Hey, girls. I'm what, is it, what is John Stamos in charge of, Artie? Um, it just, completely. It just reading. says the person in charge of the... Is he in charge of the Kodak Theater? He's in charge of a celebrity charity event that oh. is going to be there. All right. Well, uh, the dialogue is, is pretty mind-numbingly boring. <laughs> uh, hey, girls, I'm glad to see you three. Angels, hey, Mr. Stamos. <laughs> 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 wow. Uh, Rose, well, that's it's moving our, the story along. Well, it's our minute, job to make sure... Hey, Mr. Stamos, together? Uh, no, it doesn't say that, but I guess they do. <laughs> do the uh, girls say it together? Eric? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rose, uh, it's our job to make sure nothing happens to this event. The people that come to it, or this whole area for that matter, autumn, summer, as long as we're here, nothing bad will happen. We're LA's best. John Stamos, good, because the email I got said not call the cops or the feds or anything. It'll just make things worse. <laughs> right. I mean, you're hammering the audience over the head with details. You know, I mean, they, they should figure that out. You see who's in the parts of the different three, the three angels? Who's uh, in the parts of the three angels? Brandy Taylor's. I got her with... What about Ricky Lake? Rose. she in this? <laughs> I could no, probably get her. I but. have Bridget listed as Autumn Summer and Kelly, Kelly from the WWE as... Um, Bridget the Midget? I, no... From Playboy. Oh, okay. Right. Well, Randy listen, Taylor. Eric, i got to be honest with you. Uh, I thought maybe already reading it through would help me. but uh, and, and there's a couple of things I want to say. First of all, I'm watching you on the webcam right now that you have set up. You don't know how to use a webcam. You only see, like, a portion of your head, like the top. Of, like, you can't even see you. It's weird. Better? Yeah. A little better. Uh, all right, now I can see you. And what does that say across there? Shut the fuck up, fat ass. You, yeah. It's crawling across the screen. <laughs> That's a permanent message to Artie. Artie. <laughs> all right. So uh, he's all right. laughing at that. I love that. I love that. Hey, Eric, it always looks like you're you're looking at like you look like one of the people in Close Encounters when they see the spaceship. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're always looking up. Yeah. What are you? You look amazed at something. Okay. Can't you look? My, my monitor is raised a little bit above me. All right. Well, you should get that worked out if you're going to do camera work. All right, listen, Eric, I don't mean to burst your bubble. 
I told you I would do a I movie know. with you if it was something that appealed to me, but this doesn't appeal to me at all. I, I, I thought and you And it's it's really a lot of plagiarism. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to get sued by Charlie's Angels. Well, at least you're adhering to the old adage, if you're going to steal, steal from the best. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to let Eric play our new game. Eric, do you want to play the new game on the show? What's that? What's that, fast? It's called Guess This Sound. You ready? What? <laughs> Gee, what could that be? Eric, what is that sound? Listen. Oh, you're, you're ripping up the script. You got it! You get you Carson's win. ribs! You win! <laughs> we don't have any Carson's ribs. <laughs> well, when we get some, when we get be some, maybe. To you. Uh, Ralph, what is it you're on with Eric? I, I... I just love that uh, Isaac has he's had Isaac script sitting around for a year. <laughs> Can't get rid of it, Eric. You're begging him for. <laughs> I'm trying to do work you're with this Eric. This clamoring. Eric, you know, he's busy watching Heroes. I really think he should come up with an original script. Yeah, and and Eric, uh, Heroes is not great. By oh yes, it is. Hey, Ralph, come on. It's go- even the creator apologized for the first eight episodes of the season. Well, you're right about that. It was a little slow there, and he oh. recognizes it. I liked it. And all the the, the Schwarzetum down there in Louisiana, they're all annoying. They just get the Schwarzetum. Where did you <laughs> go, <laughs> Italian? Yeah, get out of here. The uh, only characters that I didn't really like, they already kill off one of them. I don't. don't oh, I'm going to hang up on you. I don't like you. I'm not saying. Don't say anything. I don't want to hear about. It. Thank you, Eric. Oh, no, they, they killed Goodbye, 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 goodbye. You're a spoiler. You're a spoiler. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Goodbye. I'm done. He's going to tell me stuff about heroes I don't want to know.